In this video, I'll show you how to integrate Deadline Funnel with Teachable and add a countdown to your course and make it expire. So I've already created a campaign in Deadline Funnel. I've chosen Teachable as my uh, page building platform. And the first thing we need to do is add the tracking code to our Teachable site. We'll go ahead and click on tracking code at the top of the the page and I'll go ahead and click copy to copy the tracking code and then I'll head over to teachable go to site then down to code snippets and then I'll go ahead and paste the deadline funnel tracking code into the head code snippet area make sure to save And then let's head over to our courses. I'm going to choose the course that I want to add to my deadline funnel campaign. And I want to have a look at the sales page. That's the one I'm going to add to my campaign. And I'm going to load that into my browser. And then I'm going to grab the final URL once the page has been loaded. So I'll copy that URL and then head back to Deadline Funnel. So in my campaign, let's head to the Pages section. I'll go ahead and add new page. And we're going to go for the floating bar timer. So I'll go ahead and paste the URL that we copied from our sales page into the before deadline URL box. You can also add a, another page if you want to uh, redirect them to a different page once the deadline has expired. And I'll just redirect them to my school page um, when the deadline has expired. So I'll go ahead and click save. And then I'll head over to my sales page and let's hit, hit refresh and see what the timer looks like. Great. So now you can see the, the, the floating bar timer at the bottom of the page and you can choose to have it at the bottom or the top of the page. So now let's head back to Deadline Funnel into our campaign. We're going to add a second page. I'm just going to grab this before deadline URL. Before I do that, I'll click on Add New Page. And this time we'll choose Display Inline Timer. So I'll choose that. I'll again paste in the sales page URL in the before deadline box and we'll redirect them to the school page once the deadline is expired. Now before you click save, make sure to grab the HTML snippet because we need to add that to our sales page in Teachable. And I'll click save. Right, so now let's head over to Teachable again. And this time I'm going to edit the sales page. So now we want to add a new block and we want to grab the custom HTML block. Then go ahead and click on add. And then we'll go ahead and paste in the code snippet that we copied from Deadline Funnel for the inline timer. I'll go ahead and click on update. So now let's head over to the sales page again. I'm going to hit refresh. And let's just scroll down to where we added the HTML block. And now you can see the inline timer displaying there. Now you can have multiple inline timers and you can simply add the HTML block to any position where you want the inline timer to display. If you have any questions, contact us on help at deadlinefunnel.com.